All right, continuing coverage here at the Arnold. I'm here with one of New York's finest, John De La Rosa. What's up, buddy? What's going on, guys? How are you? I'm ready to rock and roll. I know uh, you better be ready to rock and roll. You're going to be on stage in 48 hours. Yes, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. First time here at the Columbus, Arnold. Yeah, I know you were in South Africa two years ago, correct? Yes. Uh, first time here. How does it feel, your first Arnold? You know, it's what we always consider the real Arnold, yes. so to say. This is the real one for me. It, it's actually my eighth year as an IFBB pro, and I've always wanted to do it. But just my history in the sport and watching this growing up, I always wanted to make sure, and this is not, not against the Olympia because at the Olympia I wanted to be my best too, but I always felt like I needed to be, I wanted to come to the show and be a contender. I didn't want to just be another guy walking across the stage. Um, so this year, this year being my eighth year as an IPB Pro, I felt like I, can, I have a shot at this and I, can, I, I belong on that stage. I didn't want to do the history of this, this stage and the prestige of this stage any injustice by stepping up on stage sure. anything less than being my best well you know we, we always talk about comparison in bodybuilding and how it can favor athletes one way or the other um cedric the defending champ but with the exception of kuklo he doesn't really have a whole lot of guys his size more interestingly is it's really more guys your size dexter bonak yourself um yeah you, you got some crew there actually that can give you some company but that actually could work for you guys i think it i for me it's you look i want to we all train to win um, but looking at the lineup, I'm really excited because uh, I feel like I've worked on my physique and, and brought it to a place where muscularity-wise I can hang with those guys. Sure. Um, now it was all about refining and conditioning and all that, and I think I've done that. So just being having the opportunity to stand next to the number three and number four or number five bodybuilder in the world is going to be – it's a huge opportunity for me. So I'm fully looking forward to seizing that opportunity and showing the world that I'm, I'm here and I'm ready to do it. Be interesting how that pans out. Uh, the other guy, obviously, is Dennis Wolf, who's making his return, um, and we're, and we're going to be very curious to see how that pans out for him. Um, I don't think he's going to be 100% back, but it's good to see him back. Uh, but he's only big man, the only other big man when it comes into height into play. But that's why I bring that up is because um, it, it's an apples and oranges type of thing. Uh, when you stick out one way or the other, and you've been in plenty of lineups where obviously you're not the, the tallest guy in the lineup, uh, which is no lineup, yeah. Uh, so you're just waiting for Bonac to show up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, but it can work to your benefit, like you say. When there's three or four or five, you kind of gang up on the other guy, so to say, because you're all very, uh, uh, very comparable when it comes to muscularity, thickness, uh, and all you guys share that. Right, right. And like I said, that's why I'm really excited. I think with my shape and the muscularity now, um, I think I probably have one of the best front double biceps in the sport. I think a few poses I have are really, really strong that can, you know, regardless of what my height is or who's competing, I think I can hang with them pose for pose and I, I like I said I'm just waiting for my opportunity I've been dreaming of this all my life so I'm here and and I'm really excited we, my family's here my dad is here they, we've got 30 people here going to be going nuts and uh, it's going to be a great weekend it's always great to see your dad in the audience yeah. obviously a bodybuilder himself he's competed many years yeah. uh, so he, he's going to be having a great time watching his son yeah. up on this Arnold stage I know he's very proud of you obviously and all your bodybuilding accomplishments uh, what have you been working on this year John I know you're always back at the drawing board looking to do this or do that to, to perfect your physique. So what was the, the focus this year? Well, I started prep 19 weeks out for this competition. Um, now that's longer than normal for you. Yeah. Now normally I, I do about a 14 right. to 16 week prep. I started at 19 weeks out solely with the purpose of making sure that there was detail everywhere when I posed. And um, I think I accomplished that. I think this is definitely going to be the best that I've been on stage. Um, you know, I, as a bodybuilder, you grow, and year after year, things just you, you're, you're bodybuilding, you're growing. So I think I've added some size too. I think just everything, you know, my my whole focus was just being conditioned, so I can hang with those top guys. Because as I said earlier, I think muscularity-wise, I can hang with them there. I just need to bring that next level conditioning. John, anybody who said follows your uh, social media following saw that uh, you got married to Swan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> am I missing something here? Or? So, you you, you kind of threw me off there for a minute, but maybe you could explain that for everybody else who, who saw that. Yeah, so Swan and I have been married for five years, but I don't go on Facebook much. So one day I was trying to do something on Facebook, and I noticed that I didn't update my Facebook right. profile and that I was married to Swan. So I updated, and everybody's like, oh, well, I thought you got married five years ago. I'm like, I did. Yeah, it was kind of funny when I saw it. I'm like, wait a minute. I could have sworn they got married like four or five years ago, but... They got married again. I don't know, maybe some, you know, Vegas Elvis yeah. marriage type, you know, renewal of the vowels or, you know. All right. Very good. Well, John, best of luck to you, man. Can't wait to see you on stage. It's going to be a great show this weekend, and uh, we'll see what happens when the smoke clears, buddy. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I appreciate the love and the support and the, the outpouring of 
the fan emails and, and messages. All you guys, just thank you so much. Uh, I look forward to making you guys proud. You got it.